malaria, heart disease, accidentally driving through a military base because Google Maps told you there's a Burger King in there. These are all serious threats to your health and safety. But you know what's even scarier than all of those? Using public Wi-Fi without a VPN. Imagine this, you're at Starbucks sipping on your overpriced coffee, and then suddenly your stomach starts an uninterrupted monologue of gurgles. You know you're lactose intolerant, but you thought, hey, why not indulge in some dairy goodness? Well, that's the same kind of reckless behavior you'd be exhibiting if you were using the Starbucks public Wi-Fi without a VPN. Using public networks without protection is similar to drinking dairy as a lactose intolerant person. It might not always go horribly for you, but you're definitely rolling the dice. VPNs are the lactate of the digital world, and using one is like taking a dose of lactate before chugging a gallon of milk. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you everything you need to know about a VPN in order for you to protect yourself in the digital world. Contrary to popular belief, VPN does not stand for vindictive pandemonation, Although, let's be honest, it'd be much cooler if it did. It stands for virtual private network, with the key word being private. Whether you're a tech-savvy security buff, a 32-year-old who still plays Neopets and wants to keep that not public, or just a conspiracy theorist who thinks the government's watching them, VPNs can provide you with the privacy and protection you need. But how do they work and what do they do for you? Firstly, they encrypt your traffic. What does that even mean, though? Well, instead of your traffic looking like this, It'll look like this instead. Hey, we're not talking about this or this. We're talking about this. This will save you from accidentally leaking your credentials on sites that aren't using secure protocols. So let's just say hypothetically you're logging into your Neopets account and you're putting in your username and password. There's a chance that it's not using the correct protocols, which would be HTTPS, and that those credentials could be sent over the web in plain text. Now, if you are practically like everybody else in the world, you're all different. Yes, we are all different. I'm not. You probably reuse your password for multiple sites. This makes protecting your password even more important. All right, you see this? See this up here? We're now in the honest space. We're gonna be honest with ourselves and honest with each other. We all have our weird internet searches that we'd probably rather keep private. But the problem is your internet service provider can see it all. Luckily, VPNs are like if you were a mob boss with a fall guy. The way a VPN works is instead of your weird searches going directly to your internet service provider, they will first go to your VPN server. This VPN server will act as a digital proxy and will basically be your fall guy. So it'll make you seem like all those weird searches are coming from some other computer and it would never be your computer, right? This will essentially make you the Al Capone of the cyber world. And it'll prevent Spectrum, Optimum, Verizon, or whatever other internet service provider you use from knowing how much of a freak you are. But what's the biggest benefit of using a VPN? It's actually being able to access the Canadian Netflix without being Canadian. Instead of packing your bags and having to move up to good old Canada, you can actually just use a VPN to make it seem like your computer's from Canada instead. Now you may or may not know this, but Netflix actually has different movie and TV show catalogs depending on which country you're in. So let's say, I don't know, let's pick a random movie that I'd never watch. Uh, you know, the, the Lego Jurassic World secret exhibit movie. It's possible that that movie's available in Canada, but not the US. But if you're using a VPN, it's basically like shaking Justin Trudeau's hand, getting some citizenship, and boom, there you go, you're now able to see the movie. Now, similar to weathermen with their forecast accuracy, whenever you have an outdoor barbecue coming up, VPNs are by no means perfect. You can still accidentally download malicious files using them. You can still fall victim to email phishing. Really, they're mostly there to help you on the privacy front. Also, keep in mind your traffic isn't disappearing. You are still trusting your VPN provider to do what they will with it. So while Spectrum may not be able to see what you're searching for, your VPN service provider still can. And if you're doing some highly illegal shit, you know, they'll probably turn you in. Now you may ask, which VPN should I choose? There's so many. And the correct answer is, it's whichever one decides to give me a paid sponsorship first. But until that day, here are some things to check out in order for you to figure out which VPN service you should use. Now this isn't an exhaustive list, but these are just some good things to look out for that are important. Number one, check their logging policy. Different VPNs will hold onto your information for different amounts of time. You're probably gonna wanna go with a VPN that 
that has a no logging policy. Number two, check the encryption method that the VPN service uses. Not all encryption methods are created equal. Some of them are literally more secure than others. So it's important to make sure that they're using the most up-to-date methods. Number three, figure out what the impact on your internet service will be. It is possible that you might get some kick-ass VPN with some great encryption and they don't log and they're awesome and you, you love them. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. But if your internet barely works while you're using it and you can't do anything while you're on it, it doesn't really matter. Last but not least, number four, you probably will want to be conscientious of the country of origin of this VPN service. Geopolitics can impact the actual privacy of your data, and some countries will actually require companies within that country to have to share the data with their governments. Thank you all for watching the video and feel free to throw some of those weird searches in the comments below and subscribe if you like the content and want to see more of it.